Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to fetch data from an API and export in CSV format. So in previous video uh, we explained about the export static data in CSV file but here we will uh, asynchronously export data to CSV format. So guys I will recommend you to check that my previous video and then after continue this one i will also add that link in our description box so you can check it so in the second step we will create a new component and call an api to get the data and use that data and download the csv file so let's start with an example so this one is the previously created examples so here you can see this is the app.js file where we use the react csv package to export the static data so now let's create a new component say a sync csv.js and let's quickly create react component so here i will create a class component let me create class component say class async csv extend component and export this one export default async csv let's write render methods and return set d this is nothing but since csv for temporary purpose i am returning the normal div let me change it to the space as a two okay yes now let's import that component over here in the app.js file so i'm just going to add br tag and now we add the async file this async component so here you can see it's auto imported so that's why it's coming like this now let's save it and check on the output yes this text is also coming let me add the css so at least we can see both things properly so yes yes this is good now let's work on a synchronous csv component first we need to call an api to fetch the records so let's do that things so let me add the constructor say props super props now creating a state variable say data initially we will assign data as a blank now we will call an api to fetch the data so for that let me create a new method say get user list calling now we will call an api using the fetch method here we need to pass the url and uh, return the data so for that we will use the json placeholder it's a fake api so you can easily use it for them testing and demonstrations so scroll down and here we will use the user api okay this api will return the list of the records and we will export this record in csv format so i'm just going to copy this link i mean this url and then let me convert it in this result.json okay so yes this is nothing but an api call now let's add the csv button so here i'm just going to add new button say type equal to button let me just quickly add value equal to export to csv 
and this is nothing but a sync method okay now let's write the on click method this dot oh yeah here we will export the data so let me just call another method say download report okay let's create this methods here and call it on click of the button now this should be nothing but a sync method because we are calling the api so let me quickly say result or let's say data equal to await and this is nothing but this dot get user list okay now for temporary purpose i'm just going to log this records and see like how it appears say data let's check it now this is not required okay let's leave it like this okay this is coming we'll check the inspect it and we'll see like how it looks click on console to see when i'm going to click on button we are calling an api and get this record and uh, it will appear over here in the console log so this is good now we have a data so let's assign this data in this state variable say data and this is nothing but our data so yes now we have data in state variable so our next step to export the record so for that we need to say import csv and here we will use the csv link button so when we will use this button in little bit different way because this package is not providing support for the asynchronous call they said we are providing it but that support is not working so for that we will just write csv link and few more information is required say one is headers second one is data and third one is file name so in our case let me type file name as a report underscore async dot csv okay and for data i'm going to use the data from the state variable so let me type data okay so yes now last part is header so for header here we will use the static header so for demonstrations we will fetch the data like and use the name username email phone and website to export in csv so for that i am just going to create one more variable it's a normal one like uh, headers and create an array so one is a label i can say first is name label is nothing but name of the headers key is nothing but the actual key in our case name that means this name is should be there okay now similarly we need to create another one say username and the username is nothing but the username so sorry same as that we will add few more columns one is say email 
so this is nothing but an email another one is phone number and website so this is phone this one should be phone so be a website okay it's a website okay now we have a header so let's assign that header in csv link okay now this is almost ready we need to handle the export button click so for that i'm using the callback functions and call that uh, i mean handle the click event of the csv link so here we need to use the uh, reference for the to handle the click event so for that i'm going to say csv link reference csv link element say react dot create wrap okay now use this variable and assign it as a wrap wrap to passing this data so this is fine at last we need to call this methods like let me say like these dot csv link element dot current dot link and click okay and now we are handling the click event so we need to add this click event or execute this click event from the set timeout methods because it should be asynchronous so that's why i'm adding it over here okay so i think we are good let's check the examples and test it opening these records okay i think i made some mistake over here we need to slightly change this information let me double check with the haters oh okay my problem with the headers only i was passing the wrong information it was csv link but it should be nothing but header okay got it yeah so let's close this one and see okay now this is coming so now in second step we will add the loading indicator so for that just going to add the loading say pause when we are calling this method i mean api at a time we will set as a true and pass as a false after successful call we will say it should be a false and now we need to handle the button click let's say it should be disabled when it's say loading then it button should be a disabled so that's why i'm passing loading and also i'm going to change the text when is loading is there at the time we will say downloading otherwise we will see like this should be there oh sorry okay so now let's test it so for that i'm going to change the network and say slow 3g when i click on it it's downloading you can see call is happening and data is download so this data is downloaded and it's in proper format so i hope you like this demo that's it for today's video.
सो गाइस प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर वीडियोस थैंक यू